Technical Analysis Lesson 2 Candlestick Basics Now in the last video we saw that in the stock charting section there were green and red bars. Now today we are here to interpret or rather understand how to interpret these green and red bars. Now these green and red bars are called candlesticks. Now in the green candlestick what happens is uh, let's say the price starts at 100 rupees or let's say the stock opened at a price of 100 rupees and closed at 102. So that basically means that the stock moved in a positive direction and uh, made a green candle. So that is considered to be a green candle and for example in the red candle the stock opened at 100 at rupees 100 for example and went all the way down to, uh, to 98. So that is called a red candle. Right, let me give you a clear example. So <clears throat> there are four components in a candlestick. Open, close, low and high. For example, let's say uh, the stock of Ashok Leyland, uh, for example, opened at 100 rupees today. Uh, it went down to 97 uh, in the entire day. And then all of a sudden, let's say the stock decided or uh, new investors came in and they thought that the stock will move upwards in the future. So they took the price of the share from 97 all the way to 106 and once the stock went to 106 that is the day's high uh, a few number of uh, investors started booking profits and eventually the stock closed at 102. So that is a green candle. Similarly in a red candle let's say again with the example of Ashok Leyland uh, the stock uh, moved uh, rather opened at a price of 100. Then uh, investors thought that the stock will move upwards in the future so they started buying so the stock went to 102 made a all like days high at 102 and then all of a sudden let's say some bad news or bad information about the stock came and people started selling the stock so uh, they started selling and they brought the share down to 94 now once the share was down to 94 new investors came in because they thought that maybe the stock will do better after it has corrected to 94 they started investing their money so from 94 the days low the stock again went up higher and closed at 97 that was the days close so opening price and the closing price are basically the initial and the last stage the high and lows are basically what happens during the trading days right now there are different types of candlestick like uh, there's a normal candle like uh, where the open, close and high are all different. Then there is a doji, uh, which signifies that there was a, there were a lot of uh, momentum uh, from both the buyers as well as sellers. So <clears throat> in this example, let's say the stock opened at 100, uh, then a few traders uh, like took the share to 110, for example. And then again, a number of uh, sellers came as in people who think that the share will not move forward they started shorting the share and they bought uh, they brought the share down to uh, 95 being the low and then finally again a number of investors came and they picked the share up and closed at 101 so this caused a doji right there are many forms of candlestick this is the basic interpretation of candlestick which you need to understand uh, have a look at the open equals to low candle where uh, let's say a stock was in a good momentum uh, last time it closed at let's say 100 today it opened at 102 and that was the day's low and from 102 itself it started going up it went to 107 for example and then a number of investors started booking profits because they thought that uh, the share will not move forward again so they brought the uh, like once they started booking profits the share price again went down and close to 105 for example then there is a hammer which is the most important one because this signifies a reversal when it's in a proper trend like at the end of a trend if you see a hammer uh, like let's say the stock was moving in a downtrend for a number of days uh, and then all of a sudden uh, there was a hammer which in uh, signifies that uh, like initially the sellers were booking profits and they brought down the share to let's say 95 and then all of a sudden <clears throat> new investors started investing in the share and they picked the share price uh, and uh, took it to a all like days high and closed right there so that created a hammer 
So similarly for uh, the red candles, uh, the open price is basically the price at which the share opened, then it went down uh, and then closed at a lower price than the opening price. So that's a red candle. And you have sim similar examples like doji uh, close equals to low where the uh, day's uh, open price uh, was let's say for example 100. Uh, a few investors came, they thought that the share will go up, they invested in the share. The share price went up let's say 202 and then all of a sudden a new momentum came and uh, all the <coughs> previous uh, profit bookers or investors who were booking profit uh, brought the share down to 95 and closed right there and similarly there is a hammer also in candlesticks uh, for the red one where uh, the open is less than close again because it's a red candle and uh, the open is equal to high because that's where the price ended right so that would be all thank you for watching this video for any queries and help required whatsapp me at 891 Zero one double seven double zero one. Thank you. I would also like to tell you that uh, this is just a basic concept of candlesticks. You require to uh, watch this video just to understand what candlesticks are all about. Because I'll uh, add the uh, candlestick strategies uh, later in the upcoming videos. But just understand what the opening price and the closing price uh, depicts in a candlestick. Right. Thank you.